So the question we want to address is where does the water you drink come from? Because water does not come from a tap. Water starts its life as rainfall. And before the rainfall reaches the tap, it runs through the landscape and interacts with the living part of the earth, the biosphere. And what we try and do in the Water Resources and Ecosystems Health Track is understand how movement of water through the biosphere, through those ecosystems, produces benefits for people. And drinking water is an obvious one, but there are lots of others. So in the track, we look at things like hydrology, ecological sciences, biota in rivers, and we use more and more sophisticated tools and models to analyze and assess this movement of water through the landscape. And these include nice new digital tools like cell phones and apps, but also very smart monitoring systems and more and more remote sensing and GIS. So in the track, there's a whole lot of fundamental understanding of how things move through the landscape but also some quite sophisticated application of new tools and techniques to address this. We do this because those very important landscapes, ecosystems, on which we depend are degrading. And as people move into cities, as the population grows, as the climate changes, we see more and more the need to sustain these ecosystems. But we don't really know all very well what the limits to which we can develop those ecosystems are. So the focus of our studies is really to understand how far we can develop a landscape, the biosphere, and still retain those incredibly important benefits that arise from them that support people and the economies in which we depend.